When Michael Panther joined university in the United States, he was struck by the treatment he received. Panther says that the level of support he witnessed there was a far cry from what he had experienced as a person living with disability in Kenya. After his studies, Panther decided to start the Hope Mobility Resource Center in Kenya to improve support for persons living with disabilities. I'm hoping that all Kenyans could be a part of it. Uh, the, uh, the government is, a, I hope that there could be a major part of this to donate, uh, to give uh, resources so that we could go send the team outside to do clinics, uh, mobile clinics. Uh, so all the government, counties, and, and then also all the private sectors, business people that have the resources to help us. We take a human being who has a physical disability, who is not able to move and help them move very well by assessing them first, checking them. So we have professionals on the ground in the organization who are able to interrogate and check out someone's state and after that they're able to give the right wheelchair that that person is needed. The center located along Old Mombasa Road near City Cabanas provides wheelchairs, walkers, crutches and other mobility aids free of charge. For Carol Kinuthia and her 80-year-old daughter Precious, the center is a godsend. Kinuthia wants the government to implement the Persons with Disabilities Act to ensure that all buildings and public facilities are accessible to persons living with disabilities. <laughs> itukumbuke itu sana wazazi walio na watoto wa ulemavu kwa sababu maisha yetu inakuanga ngumu ukakuko na huyu mtoto na kupata hulche na hitaji haupati unless sasa upate adona ama mtu wa goodwill maisha yetu inakuanga ngumu lakini serikali kakuwa inahakikisha kila mtoto mwenye ulemavu anapata hulche mzuri anapata devices zenye na hitaji kama ni shule tukue na special schools Iala member of parliament David Sankok also a person living with disability, wants the government to manufacture wheelchairs and mobility aids locally to lower their cost. We have 400,000 wheelchair users. In an economic eye, that is 12 billion Kenya shillings worth of business. That means 400,000 wheelchair users are sitting on a metallic equipment worth 12 billion. That is a business enterprise for somebody else. There are three million uh, people in East Africa community who are sitting on wheelchairs. That is a business worth more than 90 billion. We really need to invest in it. Stakeholders have urged the government to fight the stigma around disability and sensitize the community to improve the integration of persons with disability into society. Stigma. Lakini kwa vile serikali majitolea kusaidia wale mavu, wazazi wameanza kutoa wale mavu wao pare nje, wapatiwe magali, wapatiwe skills ama elimu, ili waeze kufanya kazi kama mwana nchi mwingine. Bila mwana mavu yote kuwa natebea na mikono na miguu, kila mtu wapatiwe shima ya kutebea kama mwana wa Kenya. Muriel Adhiambo K24, Nairobi.